Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I want to show you the easiest way of making a super dual bead rope spiral bracelet or necklace. I'm sure it is the easiest way and even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it by yourself. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, link to my second channel if you're curious you could also check it out. This is with the fast clips and also a link to similar tutorials to this one when you could see other beading ropes with super duos or with regular beads. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of super duo beads or also called twin beads depending on the manufacturer. Here I use only two beads of size 8 matching one of those two colors. You could choose which one. I use a toggle clasp but you could use a regular clasp. It doesn't matter with this work. I use two jump rings to attach my clasp. This is monofilm and that is 0.006 inches so 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my clasp. Okay, so now I'm going to take about a comfortable length of thread on my needle and uh, later I will add more thread. If you don't know how to add more thread, I have a lot of tutorial where I show how and ask me in the comments and I'll tell you, I'll give you a link to such a tutorial. And if you want to make the whole bracelet without adding thread, maybe you should take two arm spans of thread and it will be enough. Okay, so now I'm going to start. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is the easiest way to make uh, super do rope. Okay, and what I need to take in the beginning is one red super do, one golden, one red and one golden. Okay, I have four of those beautiful super dos on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by taking my tail thread going twice through the loop I'm making here for my knot and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and then I will go here one bit more in this direction. Okay guys and this will be the beginning of my beaded rope only four super duos and I'm going to take one of those beautiful A2 beads and as I'm exiting from this red super duo I will go through the opposite one through the other red in this direction okay and you see uh, in the same direction where my thread is pointing to and I pull now it goes in the middle of my work then what I want to do next is reinforce it okay go here go one more time through this one okay and then go through the golden okay now I have it attached here and then these two threads meet and I could go and make one more knot with the main thread and the tail thread. Okay, pull. Now it's all really tight and secure. Then I prefer to go through one of my super dudes and my knot hides inside. Now I could cut this tail thread because otherwise it will be on my way all the time. You could cut it at a later stage if you want but I will cut it now. Okay now I'm exiting 
through the inner hole of this golden super jewel and I want to go through its empty outer hole and with this move as you may see I'm changing directions okay and I will start my rope and first throw of my rope I will pick up a bit that is the same color with this one I'm exiting out of okay I'm taking a golden one and I'm going through the next red one okay I have this and now I will take a red one because I'm exiting out of the red and I'm going through the next golden okay so this is my first row you see this is the first row that I have and I'm exiting out of this golden and I have four super dudes that are sticking out and what I want to do is to go through one of those that are sticking out through this golden and what I want to do is change directions again okay I'm exiting through the inner hole and I'm going through the outer hole and with this I change directions okay and I will start my next row the same way you see now I could turn it like this and you see how those four bits that are sticking out meet and it is much like the previous row four bits sticking out but now because I'm changing directions I will first pick up the bit that is coming on my way not the previous one as I did before this is because I want to make a pattern of a spiral okay so now I will take the one that's coming on my way the next one the next color which is golden and I'm going here then I want to pick up the red one because it's coming on my way the one that's sticking out is a red one and it's coming on my way that is why I take a red and then I want to take a golden because it is the one that is coming on my way okay and you could go through the following red that's sticking out because in this way you will be in a position to start your next row you will save one move okay so now I'm exiting here through this red one and what I want to do is go back through the same red okay now because I'm changing directions what I need to take is the previous one okay I will alternate one row will be with the previous color and one row will be with the next color usually when you make a spiral you pick the previous or the next color and the spiral works around if you make a, let's say earrings in a circle or something like this and this time the spiral works because you're changing directions it works uh, when you change the sequence as well okay but if you don't understand what I'm explaining here if you're a beginner uh, don't worry just follow those steps okay now I'm going to take the previous color here it's red here it is a golden one here it is a red one and now I'm taking a golden one again here because this is my previous color and I'm going through the next red one and also through the following just to save one move okay and when you see when you look at it from this side you have four beads that are sticking out that I'm going to use to attach my next row okay you see and my spiral is starting to form now okay and then I will go through the next red one and with this I'm changing directions and now I'm going to add the next color because in my previous row I was adding the color before so the previous color okay so now but you see your spiral won't work if you don't add uh, golden here so now at this stage you could tell which one 
you should add without thinking of the previous and the next but maybe it's easier to think of the next and the previous okay i'm sure if i was a beginner level i would think it in this way okay so now i'm going here to this one and i want to take another and go to this golden okay and what i want to take next is a red one so my next color and i go through two when i step up i go through two beads okay now guys i have this and um, this is the basis of my work i just wanted to show you what you will have if you don't make the previous and the next row and you do the only the previous or only the next color you will have stripes like this but i prefer to have spiral okay now i will show you one more row and let you do this by yourself okay i'm exiting out of this golden bead and i will go through its empty hole in this direction now i need to take a golden one and go through the red now i'm adding the previous color a red one and i'm going through the golden A golden one and I'm going through the red and a red one and I'm going through the golden and also through the following golden to be in a position to change directions okay I think you get it and I think you agree with me that this is the easiest way to make super do rope there are other ways when you add seed beads in between the rows and uh, i as i told you in the beginning i have a tutorial uh, that i'm linking to at the eye icon and down there in description and there are also other ways when you start with six super dues here in the beginning but i think it looks fine and better when you make it with four and these spirals are so cool plus it's easy so continue with this job and i'll be back to tell you how to finish your work okay guys and when i continue beading this is what i have you see how beautiful it looks you could make a necklace you could make a bracelet and this length is enough for my wrist so uh, what i want to do is show you one more row and show you how to finish it okay so i'm going after this golden bead and i'm in a position here sorry i'm focusing now and i'm in a position to change directions okay now at this stage i'm going to pick up the next color because i'm at this stage when i'm adding the next color okay if you see here i have added a, if i have added a golden color the spiral will be broken it won't look good and you will start filling it when you continue so if you need to stop and then start again i think you will know whether you should add the next color or the following it will tell you now i have this and now guys it's time to finish my work and i finish it as i'm exiting uh, through this red one that's sticking out you see these are the beads that are sticking out i'm exiting out of the inner hole of one of those red beads and i'm going through its outer hole and with this i'm changing directions okay so now what i want to do is go through all the empty holes of those beads but this time i'm not adding anything i'm not adding super juice in between i just go in circle you could put some decorative elements here but now i'm showing you the easy way if you don't have them just go several times to feel it's all secure and now when you feel it's all secure it's time to add this atoll where you will attach your clasp to okay i'm taking it and i'm going through the opposite one 
in the same direction where my thread is pointing to, like I showed you in my previous step. Then I'm going through the red one, then through this bead, and then through the red one again. And you could do this several more times. When you're ready, you choose a place to make a knot. You could go here around the spiral some more. Okay, and when you choose a place, you make a loop, go once, go second time through the loop you've made and pull, and then you could go through some beads in this direction, continue around the spiral, make more and more knots, and when you feel everything is nice, tight and secure, you could cut your thread and your bracelet is almost ready. The only thing you should do now is add your clasp. Okay. And I'm taking my jump ring here and I open this one up, take it and put it here at this A2. Okay. Then what I do is take my clasp, put it and squeeze back. I have this. Okay, repeat it from the other side and your bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, and now my super easy, super duo bracelet with spiral is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually two times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to other tutorials that are similar to this one, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations. And if you're curious, you could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.